white man, Conor McGregor, and uh, Canelo Alvarez exchanged some words on social media. Um, some people believe that Conor McGregor and Canelo, you know, could fight or Canelo could be looking to get another type of Ken, uh, Jake Paul, Conor McGregor type of fight. I, you know, it was a rumor out there today. Showtime wanted Floyd Mayweather to come back to fight could be McGregor or Manny Pacquiao too, and he refused. And that's when they kind of really officially pulled the plug on Showtime. I already explained all that, but if you want a quick little overview, basically the reason Showtime stayed in the in the boxing business with PBC was because Floyd Mayweather continued to come back to fight. And with Floyd Mayweather continued to come back and fight, that was enough money for them to, you know, pay PBC and still flip a profit. So um, and once Floyd Mayweather no longer wanted to come back and participate and fight, there was no uh, money in PBC. You know, that's just what it was. It was no more money in PBC. Um, so that's just probably pretty much what it was. No, but nonetheless, um, you know, nonetheless, uh, you know, but. You know, I don't. I mean, at the end of the day, McGregor was just cleared of uh, charges uh, that he was facing at the NBA Finals game or something like that. So he got cleared of that. But yeah, him and um, you know Canelo was on social media today, and um, um, you know, uh, you know, and they went back and forth. Uh, you know, but the thing about Canelo is he's still under the UFC. So, you know, they said that Dana White got a big portion. Excuse me. He got a big portion of the, of his money for the Mayweather fight. He got a huge portion of that. So, um, all this damn lip balm on my lip. But, uh, no, Canelo says, so old, you uncooked chicken. I'll stump ligaments out of your knee joint. I don't even need hands to end you. I'll kick you raw pink, leave you looking like you were left out in the sun too long. Ha ha, freckle arse. I will see you and we'll see. He said something else. I don't know. Canelo responded. He basically said, you act like a little kid. You have a big mouth and you know how to talk ish. But when I fight, you all, when you, when the fight comes, you always quit. So. They kind of was going back and forth. That ain't all he said, neither. <laughs> um, yeah, he said, you uncooked chicken. He said, I will see you, and, and we will see. Canelo is a cornflake, no sugar. Canelo said, I just need one hand with you, and I don't need to throw so many punches. And I would agree with that if they box. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the thing about Conor, the thing about Conor McGregor, he's just known for, like, quitting. I mean, Khabib literally made him tap and he spit on him. So I don't even know how he goes around still talking shit. <laughs> you know, I don't. So I don't even know how he still, you know, go around talking shit. How he got there, how he got his chin held high after somebody, you know, uh, make you tap, spit on you, jump out the, uh, Jump out the ring and then put hands put hands on your whole crew. Riddle me that. <laughs> Riddle me that. I don't I don't I don't I don't even know how that happens. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. But uh but hey, that's what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? That's what Cuz got going on. But I, I don't even know how that happened. But, uh, hold on real quick. But, yeah, my bad. But, you know, they going to go back and forth. They going to pop shit off back and forth. That's what they do. Um, You know, but Conor McGregor still tied the UFC. So they still get a large portion of his check. Even if you cross over and fight Canelo, that's one of the reasons why they never did the uh, they never did the rematch with Floyd Mayweather. That's one of the big reasons why they never got in there and they did nothing with Floyd Mayweather again because of the money that you know they kind of Dana White was taking from him. Now they kind of like made amends and made a new partnership and paid him more money and all that stuff that did happen. 
but um but when he go over there and fight with you know you know crossover fight I forgot, man. Dana White got a whole bunch of money out of his bag. So, I mean, the way them them people, the way them UFC contracts is, they really be in them brothers' bag like that. You know, they got all the rights. You know how they can't do a boxing a boxing video game without getting the rights to the fighters and all that stuff. Well, UFC, you know, once you sign the UFC, they got the rights to all your likeness and all that. You know, they ask for more money, but it's business. In the business aspects say you know this is what you signed this is what you're gonna get you know and ain't you know and i told y'all boycotts really rarely work who gonna stick together who are gonna say we ain't fighting till we get better contracts who gonna go out here and say we're gonna just go back to nine to five or we're gonna save you know we're gonna save you know 70 percent of our fight checks so we can sit out a year you know what i'm saying who gonna do that people it's hard to get people to make sacrifices financially i mean the way that it was put to me was that, um, you know, what if somebody came in, you know, whatever the government came in and said, we're going to take 20% more taxes out. You have to find a way to make it work. That's how you save money. You have to find a way to make it work and postal spending. You know what I'm saying? And when you do save money and you got money, when something come up, you got money, you know, to, to save your ass. That's when saving money becomes an addiction. You know, you say, people say, well, I just can't hold on. I got to spend it. I got to spend it. You got to have a discipline. You know what I'm saying? You got to have a discipline. Trust me. And keep stacking it. Keep stacking it. And then, you know, when you stack enough, start investing it. So if your investments go left, you know what I'm saying? Um, You know, you still got that money behind you. But that's what they're going to have to do with all boycotts. And then you even see, or all hold out, you even see people, you know, um, um, what was it? Uh, in, in in the NFL, NBA, they tell people, "Well, we could be going on strike. Save your money. Save your money. Save your money now. A year or two ahead of time, we could be going on strike in 2020. What? Save your money. Save your money. And what do they do? They don't save their money. So when they get to the table, the owners they got other income. They investments. They got other companies. Um. So when they come, when they come to the table, guess what? They ain't hurting. You know, they're hurting. Because, you know, NFL is a big part of the income and them stadiums sitting there ain't making no money. They're hurting, but they're not hurting like the players. They're not hurting like the players. So, you know, that's just what it is, man. And you tell people to save, save. People know how to manage money and save. They think the money always going to be there when you stop playing. And, you know, you got a wife and kids and she's spending recklessly. And you don't set no parameters. You know what I'm saying? She's spending shit that y'all ain't got money to spend or, or y'all got money on it, but it's worthless. So even if you resell it, you ain't going to bring 50% of what it was worth. So that's why Jay-Z was telling dudes, go buy art, go buy things that appreciate it, not to depreciate. But, you know, Dana White got his hand in his pocket, so it ain't much he could do. So, um, you know, but his mouthpiece keep him relevant. Um, Canelo not getting in the ring, getting in the octagon with him. We know that. We know if Conor McGregor sees Canelo in person, he ain't going to do shit. He ain't about shit. He all talk. I mean, in the UFC, how many fight he, fights he done lost in a row, bro? He ain't even relevant in the UFC no more. He just talked. Excuse me. He been he been out his prime in the UFC. He been no longer in his prime. So, yeah, he been outside his prime, man. But at the end of the day, they got to find a way to maximize potential for Canelo Alvarez. If they go on Amazon Prime... Or the zone, or if it's a combination of both, you know what I'm saying? He gotta, he gotta get the, he, they gotta get the most. Al Heyman gotta get the most out of him. And if that's Conor McGregor, if that's Jake Paul, anything but Mayweather, because Mayweather ain't doing it. Mayweather tired of Al Heyman holding his money and paying it out every two or three years. He tired of that shit. Please believe me, he tired of it. So, um. But, um, no, it is what it is. But, um, no, I wouldn't order it. I ain't pay for the Mayweather Conor McGregor. When he was letting Conor McGregor call him a boy and all that type of shit, dude, I was good on it. I was super duper good on him. I ain't like how they was using race to sell the fight, especially at a time where there was a lot of racial tension going on. So I was like, no, nah, I'm good on dog. 
Yeah, I'm good on dog. And that and that was just my opinion on it. You know, but yeah, but nonetheless, you know, they setting up a clown fight for Canelo. I ain't mad at it. Get your money. Everybody else in boxing getting their money and not worry and not worrying about uh and they and they not worrying about uh you know the 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 what's best for the sport. But um yeah, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash up dollar sign CJ Good 313. Venmo CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, um, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts. I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere, man. Check out my new channel. Um, uh, free game 89 fr33 game 89 that links in the link tree in the description check out my Detroit channel um all that's in all that's in there man motor city sports talk appreciate everybody supporting the channel let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section peace